My name is Cynthia Lee. I'm a uh, physician. I have 26 years of practice experience in Texas, including owning my emergency and doing some emergency room work. And um, I, I understand that they're going to have criteria set up for 9-11 operators to decide when the CIT team is called. And I'm speaking here on behalf of the confused individuals that would be tased if tasers are permitted. Um, I can vouch for the fact that I have personally been on the scene when experienced medical professionals could not recognize that the behavior they were seeing was a result of hypoxia. Now, a recipe for a cardiac arrest is to put an hypoxic person flat on the ground. They're struggling to stay alert, to stay upright, and their mind is so confused that their behavior is bizarre. Um, and uh, if you believe the 9-11 operator is going to be able to reliably separate that out for you, you are sadly mistaken, because they cannot. Um, police officers should be skilled in martial arts and vocal tactics in obtaining cooperation, and they should have excellent central auditory processing skills. This is more than the ability to hear a silent, a simple sound in a testing booth. This central auditory processing is the measurable skill for a brain to be able to understand what's being said. That skill varies from one person to another. You cannot assess it in uh, an interview room face to face. What you have to do is measure it where they've standardized it so they can tell you if that person can actually hear someone on a crowded, busy, chaotic street. Because they can, they can comprehend you in the, in the room when they're being interviewed for that position as a police officer. But what you want to know is that they're going to have adequate skill in a situation on a busy street. Um, and I want to mention that in addition to the risk of sudden death due to respiratory arrest or cardiac arrhythmia when an individual falls, there's a risk of concussion or worse. I've seen uh, individuals who are confused for weeks from simple concussions. Um, many times they are unable to even tell the physician that they had a head injury. They can't remember they had a head injury. And the drugs that they're put on <coughs> can make them worse, and they can become violent under the effects of the prescription drugs. Yes. Okay. Side Understand that you are now seeing uh, retired football players in their 30s who are presenting with dementia. Mm -hmm. How are your officers going to feel when they realize they have tased an individual with dementia? Yeah. That could be your aunt, your uncle, your mother, your father, and one day it could be you. Mm -hmm. okay. The taxpayer is going to take a hit. <laughs> okay? Because those individuals will end up in emergency rooms, they're going to end up on uh, being unable to support themselves, and for, for God's sakes, train your officers in martial arts because when they are trained in martial arts, they exude a confidence that the public picks up on, it's true. and they trust the individual more. Israeli armies like that. Yay! Thank you.